to my channel guys uh, in this this is my uh, 18th uh, lab or uh, the lecture in uh, for md8 uh, md102 microsoft uh, 360 web endpoint administrator uh, administrator for guys uh, in this video we are going to learn how we encrypt our disk by in uh, using Intune. So as a part of this uh, lecture, we have three tasks that we will uh, perform. In task one, we will see how we configure device and uh, device configuration policy in Intune. Then in task two, we will uh, verify and enable uh, bit docker settings. And in task three, we will verify the bit docker protections. So let's uh, check guys how we do these things. So uh, guys, uh, as you can see, sync was successful. This uh, in my previous video in uh, in uh, lab seventeen, uh, it took little bit time to complete the synchronization. So I stopped the video uh, there. But uh, it it is completed. Okay, sync was successful as you can see. Okay, so now uh, if I go back to my Windows security this time. Previously, there was seven or eight items, but now we have only four items. Now, if you go inside, you can see. So, our setting has applied. Thank you. Now, uh, switching back to our um, uh, our agenda. First of all, guys, uh, I'm going to uh, log into my portal. So, guys, if you have already logged into uh, Intune portal, it's okay. Otherwise, you need to log into Intune.microsoft.com portal. And uh, then you see you, you have endpoint uh, security. Here you see this, you have disk encryption. So currently we do not have any policies. You can see, so click on create policy. You have to select your platform. So window 10 and later. So you can uh, enable BitLocker for Mac and the uh, Windows environment. Select the profile. So our bit locker is our profile. Say click create. Specify a name for your profile. So I say auto so bit locker. Enable BitLocker for all Windows devices. The next. Configuration settings, as you can see that we have the BitLocker. So,
any settings I'm just going to check for the one which we need then i write up says choose bit how in uh, enforce drive encryption type so you can see the you need to review all these settings Right. So if you want to protect your operating system type like C drive, you have to configure this one. For your fixed data drive, like D drive, E drive, this is for the removal drive. Option which we are uh, looking for it's not uh, listed here. Here, so just hold on. platform locker create and specify a name
from the option which we are looking for. Okay. Now, which type of encryptions you want to uh, enable, you can select, you can check. Okay. Provide unique identifier for your organization, you can select that one. Do you want uh, to enable uh, BitLocker encryptions for your drive? Okay, require additional authentication at the startup. Still in and standard user cannot change the pin. Decide these things, you can configure these options. Now, simply. So, do you want to enable uh, BitLocker encryptions for your removal drives? Uh, yes. Allow user, user to apply BitLocker protections on removal. Okay. False. Then I write access to the removal drive not protected by BitLocker. Yes, if your drive is not protected by BitLocker, then you cannot write. Next, assignment and uh, add group. Under the developer, next, and done. Now let's see, we are going to validate our settings. So, Says work or is cool. Click on the info and ink.
connected. I just restarted the uh, computer. Process actually takes a little bit time, yes. for now. The option. Guys, it takes a little bit time. Okay. option.
So, Up to your as your account. So where you want to save your file, so you can decide. So And in so our disk encryption has started. Start now. See, it is asking for PIN. So enter your PIN and enter and there you go. Well, guys, this is how we can actually post BitLocker configurations. from our in Intune portal. So now enter your username, password. Verify. see so thank you guys for watching my video and hope that uh, this video will also help you to enhance your knowledge level level and uh, guys please don't forget to like my videos and uh, uh, if you have any requirement for any specific uh, course video just let me know i will help i will try my best to uh, record the video as soon as possible uh, especially from microsoft and uh, microsoft based and uh, computer based courses and uh, 
also guys please share my video links with your friends and colleagues and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel if you want to be uh, be connected and uh, up keep yourself updated with all the latest technologies thank you guys see you in next video